the Jason Burke maiden is next to and this is the only long distance race of the weekly four mile plus race the big field as you'd expect and one of you four milers probably left at home this week the top one is a fleet lip for James Shea bright sparky Martin Leadham Citizen Kane Paul Rhodes Cono, Paul Fisk, De Banshee Man, Alex Cherry, Don Quixote, Leon Van Rensburg, Earls Brig, John Morgan, Inga Bird, Darren Thompson, Cartan Tantalus, Hem, Slip Anchor, Paul O'Neill, The National Awaits for Joshua Sutherland, Bolshoi Bling for David Ladd, Emma's Legend, February, Graham Clutterbuck, Seeding the Stars, Derek Hinton, Sheila, C. Beckwith, Sun Demotz for T. Rogers, and Thistledown, please, for Daniel French. So, 17 of them then. Called in and away. Quite a few of these will be looking at the Grand National later in the season, I would have thought. Oh, we'll probably see them regularly in all those Moors Millions races that probably kick off next week or the week after as they get to the first. And they're all over that one. Okay, I think one or two of these may have run in the Trial National last week as well. Cartan Tantalus, I'm sure that one did. And Slip Anchor, you'd expect to be seeing that one in the Derby, wouldn't you, rather than a four mile chase? As they take the next, I'm sure the trainer probably thought it was going to be a Derby winner when he named it. But not mind if it wins this. Slip Anchor then, and Cartan Tantalus are disputing the lead. And they're about four clear of the remainder who are headed by Sunday Mott. Then the National awaits. Giving it, away, giving it away in the name there, Josh. So they take the next down as a four at the back. A fleet lipped has gone. So a fleet lipped, the first one to depart. Cartan Tantalus is about three parts of a length clear of oh, Slip Anchor, who's just coming to tuck in with him now. And the pace is fairly sedate, as you'd expect, with four miles to go. Cartan Tantalus and Slip Anchor are clear of the field as they take the fourth. Good jump there by Slip Anchor. The rest of the field jump over it well as well. Looking towards the back. Kono is the back marker. And it's Slip Anchor and Cartan Tantalus from Emma's Legend February and Sunday Mott together. The National Awaits tucked in behind them. Then Sheila as they take the next. And all stream over that one nicely as well. And past the stand. the winning post a couple more times to go around yet and let's get over this next one um, they're all over to okay, although the John Morgan horse sort of skidded on landing in Earl's Brig that's named after a famous old horse from years ago as well isn't it so it's slip anchor in the lead then Cartan Tantalus is second then I get a gap back to Emma's Legend February is third then Sunday Mott is four and the National Awaits is five and Sheila is six and then Dimanche Man is seven then Citizen Kane eight and Thistledown please nine and then Bolshe Bling and Don Quixote and Ellsbury and Inga Bird exceeding the stars Bright Sparky and finally Kono as they take that ditch and they're all safely over that one looks like we might be playing jockey cam for a bit now which is uh He's okay in these long distance races, but it's not quite so much fun in the flat races, especially for the commentators, because you can sort of lose track of what's going on. But it's okay in these jumps. It gives you a bit of a perspective, and a bit of a different perspective, and a bit of a breather as well, really. We're on Citizen Kane at the moment. You can see these jockeys and horses are not following the social distancing rules at the moment. Difficult to have horse racing with social distancing, wouldn't it? You have to run them in lanes, I suppose, which would be just about impossible. Anyway, coming down towards the next end, we're going to be on the back of Citizen Kane over this one. Uh, didn't jump it all that well, I didn't think, but it says he did. <laughs> yeah, towards the next end, and we're back with a normal sort of view now then. Cartan Tantalus in front, Slip Anchor second. Got this plain one. And we see them all over that cone, though, though. A little bit slow at the back. And slip anchor by a nick to Cartan Tantalus second. Get back to Sunday Mott as they take number 11. Good jump that time by the John Morgan horse Earls Brig who'd made a mistake earlier on. And similar colours out there as well. No double entries this week. Double entries start next week I think. All over that one there. Racing down towards the final two miles, and we've only got one out of the race so far. It was a fleet lip who went early on. 
Far Tan Tantalus leads by half a length as they take this ditch. Give it plenty of air. Bright Sparky was slow towards the back. And Kono is still the back marker. Car Tan Tantalus is the leader. Slip Anchor. Tucked in nicely in second. Emma's Legend February in the National Awaits with Sunday Mott and Thistledown, please. There's Briggs after that one. With Citizen Kane. As they take the next one. Look, Citizen Kane is the Paul Rhodes horse. The one at the back, Kono. Very really similar colours to Paul Rhodes' colours, but it's got a. I'm not sure, quite sure who that one is, to be honest. As they take the next. We'll go with that one, okay. And that'll be the last next time round. We see them past the wooden post, then Cart Untangled is in the lead. Slip Anchor is second, Emma's Legend February is third. The National Awaits is four, and Sunday Mott is five, and Earl's Brig six. Thistle Down Please is seven. And Deban Shaman, you can see Earl's Brig made a mistake again there. They're on the back of Exceeding the Stars at the moment. He's just trying to decide whether to go around the outside or the inside of Earl's Brig. The way that's going to jump in, the place you wouldn't want to be is right behind it at the moment because it's made a couple of mistakes. Stay on this one and come down towards the next, which is a ditch. Uh, wherever, okay. And Cartan Tantalus is now three or four clear. Off Slip Anchor second. Emma's Legend February 3rd, Sunday Mot 4. And the National awaits. This round, please, is going well. Earl's Brig is still close up despite a few mistakes and another slow jump there. Mistake by Citizen Kane in mid division. And the Alex Cherry Horse is getting a little bit closer as well. That might be De Bansha Man. But it's still Cartan Tantalus. Been in the lead all the way. We're inside the final mile now. Slip Anchor is second, Emma's Legend February is third, as they take that one. Sunday Mott and Thistledown, please, are going particularly well. Earl's Brig would certainly be right up in the van if it was jumping better. National Awaits just hit a bit of a flat spot, but has now got the inside and took that one nicely. Another mistake by Earl's Brig and Bright Spark in Kona. Look like they need five miles rather than four. But it's Cart and Tantalus in front. Towards this next one, look at this Earl's Brig. It cruised through now to take it up despite jumping like a bit of a cart horse a couple of times. But he's now quickly gone into the lead, so he's obviously quicker than a cart horse as he comes to this fourth last. And he still wouldn't take a short price in running, would you? The way he's been jumping, and we've only had one faller so far. But it's Earl's Brig in front. Thistle down, please, has moved through in a second now as the early leaders begin to drop away. Emma's Legend February, the National Awaits are still there. Then Sunday Mott, Sheila, and Bolshoi Blinger trying to get into it as well as they take the third from home. They've only got two more fences to take, but they've still got three more furlongs to race. And Earl's Brig he is four lengths clear of Thistle down, please. Emma's Legend February is next. Then Sunday Mott. And De Bansherman, that looks to be going pretty well. But Earl's Brig just stole a march on these. Good four clear. Thistle down, please, is second. Earl's Brig again jumped that slowly. A much better jump by Thistle down, please, who's now throwing down a big challenge. Emmy's Legend February is going well in third as well. De Bansherman's running on in fourth, and the National Awaits after that one. This is the final fence, and Earl's Brig got over it well. A slow jump by Thistle Down, please, this time. And a pretty uneventful four mile race. Didn't get the thrills and spills we normally get, but Earl's Brig did his best to get rid of the jockey, but he's run away from the rest of them and won it by a good six lengths. Thistle Down, please, his second. Emma's Legend February 3rd to the National Awaits. The Inga Bird ran on quite well as well. Kono was the last one to finish. And. Well strung outfield there, look. Few of these will be regulars in those Moors millions. Uh, Earl's Brig has taken it by a good distance, despite jumping pretty poorly a few times. Let's take a look 
at the full list of connections. I don't think that's right. The Badger, the badger Man being fourth. Have a look and check. It's Earls Brig for John Morgan, the winner. Thistle Down, please, for Daniel French, second. Emma's Legend, February 4, Graham Clutterbuck was third. The National Awaits for Joshua Sutherland was fourth. And Inga Bird for Darren Thompson was fifth.